Live, the news you count on, NBC2 News at 6. Breaking news this evening, a suspect is in custody after shooting at law enforcement and then barricading himself inside a local McDonald's. Thanks for counting on NBC2. I'm Chris Redfern. And I'm Ashley Graham. NBC2 has been tracking this story from the very first calls out of this location on Palm Beach Boulevard to the moment officers told us they had their guy in custody. Yeah, I think I might have been one of the first reporters out there at this scene. Some of these shots you're seeing, they really don't do it justice. I mean, just the sheer amount of law enforcement out there today. All these people standing along the sides of the road watching everything happen in the crowd. Um, we've had a team of reporters out there today on the ground talking to these folks, getting the latest info from law enforcement as well. Let's go ahead and bring in NBC2's Chandler Blackman. Chandler, I want to start with you. You've been out there pretty much all afternoon. What's the latest we have, Chandler? Well, Chris, behind me, you'll notice that the crime scene tape is still up as investigators continue to work the area. But I can say it's a lot more quiet and things have definitely died down compared to what we saw earlier. It was very intense. Scene. It was a very intense scene here, as you mentioned, Chris, on Palm Beach Boulevard, right at this McDonald's. You're seeing both Fort Myers Police Department and the Lee County Sheriff's Office swarm the area to catch a man. They say shot at officers and ran inside and hid for hours. I want you to take a real good look behind me here. Okay, you see this team? They're heroes. A heroic effort by both the Lee County Sheriff's Office and the Fort Myers Police Department after a man fired shots at officers at 11 this morning. That individual had a confrontation and wrongfully, and made a big mistake, tried to shoot at our family members at FMPD and the Lee County Sheriff's Office. The suspect ran into the McDonald's and barricaded himself with employees. At one point, his phone communication with us, his phone goes dead, and our Lee County Sheriff gives him his own phone so that we can start to communicate with him. Both Palm Beach and Marsh Avenue shut down immediately. Law enforcement in tactical gear worked to end the situation quickly and peacefully. And as we got closer to it, we saw cops with their shotguns out, their ARs out. We ended up seeing one cop running away from the building with about three kids and one employee ducking behind another cop car. With the help of drones and technology, officers were able to safely retrieve the employees and force the suspect out using tear gas just before two this afternoon. Honestly, chaotic just seeing that because not normally would you expect to see someone driving like that down Palm Beach, especially at McDonald's. We have great residents in this county and our residents are gonna have law and order no matter what. So the message is clear. Whoever it is that thinks they're gonna to come to Lee County and commit a violent crime, go somewhere else. Now, Sheriff Marcino says the issue was peacefully resolved and the suspect went to the hospital to get checked out and then to jail. Live in Fort Myers, Chandler Blockman, NBC2. All right, Chandler, thank you. As we work to find out who was behind the barricade, employees at this McDonald's are coming to the terms with what they experienced today. You're looking at pictures right here of the deputies and officers talking to these workers just moments after they brought the suspect into custody. NBC2's Gage Golding spoke with one employee who was inside. And Gage, what did they say it was like inside the restaurant after those shots were fired? Ashley, the employees here tell me it was absolutely chaotic inside of this McDonald's. It all started as just a typical Saturday. Actually, they were gearing up for the lunch afternoon rush. That is until workers here say a man ran inside the restaurant with a gun shooting. Take a listen. And they said, get out, get out, get out. Does it scare you that, I mean, everybody's out here just getting lunch on a Saturday and someone comes in and starts shooting? Yeah. It's scary because Saturday, the market busy, Madonna. Yeah, you can see these employees running from the back of the restaurant there. Many tell me off camera they were scared for their lives. They didn't know what was going on or what could happen next. One thing I want to point out from that interview, though, the woman said she was making that sandwich when the shots were fired. An hour later when I interviewed her, she still had that sandwich in her apron. It just goes to show how quickly all of this can unfold and really how terrifying it must have been. That sandwich still in her pocket. Now, outside of this McDonald's, there was people lining the street, as you saw just a couple minutes ago. And those people witnessed all of this unfold. NBC2, Zach Barrett caught up with some of those folks. Zach. 
Gage, I spoke to a man who manages a body shop directly next to that McDonald's, and he tells me that his cell phone started getting flooded with texts and calls from people as that armed suspect was barricading himself inside of this McDonald's. Now, about five blocks of Palm Beach Boulevard was blocked off by authorities while all this was going on. More than 100 people who had left the McDonald's and who were just around the area started gathering across the street from the restaurant. Many here wondering what would happen as deputies swarmed the building. They were bombing a tear gas or something inside. All around the building, all around this, the whole block. The whole block is blocked off. I'm here. I mean, it could have been happening to me. Now, Palm Beach Boulevard has been reopened for the past couple of hours now, but LCSO investigators are still here at the McDonald's working the scene, trying to gather every amount of evidence that they can. I'm live in Fort Myers, Zach Barrett, NBC2. Thanks, Zach. So there's still a lot of unanswered questions in this case, especially when it comes to the gunman. We'll continue to update you both on air and online. Uh, now, actually, a perfect time. Go ahead and download that NBC2 News app. We were sending out alerts all afternoon. It is free. Apple App Store and Google Play Store. A great opportunity to have it so we can get you the latest info, even if we aren't uh, on air. Uh, now, coming up here in the next five minutes, we're going to take you back out live to the scene. We'll have another little update there from one of our other reporters, Sarah Metz. That'll be coming up on the other side of the commercial.